It's me, your friend. It's me, your friend. Creation, your friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, it's me, your friend, Creation. Just kidding. It's not Creation. It's me. Creation, your friend. I'm about to go pack a serious bowl right now. You know, tokers only. Where are my smokers at? Where are my jokers at? Where's my pipe? Where's my pipe at? Um, so hey guys. I just, um... Uh, you know, I uh, want to talk about my Kickstarter ordeal. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen it, it in the newspaper. Have you? Have you seen it in the newspaper? No? Look what I got in my pocket. You know what these are? Pow Pows? You ever play with a Pow Pow? Yes, I'm actually a certified licensed practitioner. Yeah, it may not look like it, but I'm definitely a certified practitioner. Um, practitioner in Dem lyrics. What are you, Jamaican? Dem? Pondi Dem? Pondi Floor? Where Dem at, boys? Um... No, I'm actually not a doctor. I'm actually just a stoner. Just a stoner mom trying to make it. Um, this is how you pack a bowl right here. So what about the Kickstarter? Everyone wants to know about the Kickstarter? I'm smoking on some mid. It's not really that sad. I mean, all right, so basically, I wanted to put together a Kickstarter to work on a new album. And it kind of just like, my homegirl did it, and I saw that hers was like super successful and stuff, so I was like, man, I should try and do that. Like, that would be hella cool to just like get like a whole bunch of money and like really just put that all into a project, you know, instead of just like trying to figure out who can do something for free or where or where and when I could get free studio time like I could just you know yeah and I'm a single mom you know so it's not like I can just like go meet some guy on Twitter and like use his studio like first of all like I can't just like hang out with strangers in case I die or something and then like you need babysitters and basically the Kickstarter was just gonna be a babysitting fund while I go record and do shows no nah. Um, but I don't know, it just felt like, I mean, my friend who did it, like, when she did it, she actually had, like, a lot of stuff, like, almost done, you know, and I just feel, like, bad. I feel like maybe I shouldn't ask for, because what the money would be used for is, you know, of course for studio time and for videos and stuff, but, like, to make the actual CDs or, like, uh you know, make shirts or whatever the fuck, you know. But now I'm kind of like, I don't know, I just, I don't want to deal with n any negative attention. I don't want to draw any more negative negativity to myself. You know, people love to hate, hate me. I feel like I've definitely, like, been able to separate myself from the haters, you know. And I feel like, I mean, asking the internet for money? Shit. I don't know, and then yeah, I also feel like I probably wouldn't reach my goal, and that would be like even more embarrassing, you know, but I think I'm just going to do it a different way. I mean, I'm, I'm going to like maybe wait until I have like a couple songs that I can put out, and then like, I don't know, I just, and it's so dumb because I worked like two weeks on this Kickstarter, like writing everything, and like you know, making this whole cute ass little video and shit, and like, now I'm like, what? Like what? What am I supposed to do? No. 
not smoking meth. I quit smoking meth when I was 13. I don't know. Doing a Kickstarter is hella stressful. My homegirl did one. She was just like, girl, I feel you. Like, it's hella, like, stressful to do, you know? Like, if I was just friends with little Debbie again, like, I feel like all my problems would be solved. I'm just kidding, probably. Is that shatter or wax? It's just, it's just marijuana dust. Maybe I'll just put the Kickstarter out and have it be for something like hella low, for like $3,000 <laughs> and then whatever. My goal, I kept changing it from 20,000 to 25,000. So, now I'm like, I don't even wanna put it up. Yeah, I feel like all my friends tell me I can reach my goal, but there is just something so nerve wracking about it that it's just like, I don't even wanna do it. Yeah, I should just like, you know, do Kickstarter for like, 5,000 and like get a brick and then like flip the brick, you know, and then do it like that, right? Get a small amount and make an EP. Yeah, that, that sounds a little less stressful. I mean, if you guys have any advice, so some of my rewards, like the basic stuff would be like a physical, physical signed copy of the album for like $30, you know? and t-shirt like limited t-shirt and then i was gonna press up some kitty kitties and choppas tapes so like you can have your rare kitties and choppas uh mixtape i don't know where's your gopro bitch they have not sent me that shit they took forever to respond to me they probably forgot they all they also unfollowed me already so like i can't even bother them on there Kylie Jenner, I seen her. I was scared of her. I feel like she knows exactly who I am. And like, she probably liked me and now she probably hates me. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think? Should I do a Kickstarter or not? Nah? Will you guys be there to defend me against any negativity will you guys be my writers will you guys retweet and support and tell your parents to donate to me I'm really nervous that's why I got on Periscope just to talk to my, my real supporters and see I'm getting a lot of hell yeahs this is very motivating I can't tell if it's like the same 10 people just saying yes or if it's actually 180 different people saying yes. But either way, I know I'm smart and I know I can do stuff, but I'm just negative. Kitty just texted me. She said, I'm going to send you some money. Probably not for the Kickstarter. I got all her clothes at my house. <laughs> Confidence is key. Yeah, someone told me once you throw out the f the feeling of fear, then no, maybe I should just take private donations. How broke are you? I'm so broke. It sucks. <laughs> like it really sucks. It's like pretty broke. I just had to sell my car, and it was just like so fucking terrible how'd i go broke uh, a lot of things it was and the worst part is usually people go broke from like spending hell of money like i basically went broke from not spending money 
I like was saving money. I never like bought shit, never bought a house, never did. I had a car, so I was doing payments. And um, then like I got in trouble with this guy who like fucked my taxes up. And then they were like, oh, we can fix it. And then the guy who said he could fix it totally fucked it up and they took all of my money. <laughs> like, yeah, wow, that happened. Um, and like by all of my money, I mean literally shut down my bank account. Like I don't even have a bank account. I have to do all the fucking Western Union cashier checks and shit all the time. But I'm not like a money person. Like I don't care about money. If I have enough to pay rent and eat, like the food I want to eat, then like, you know, pay for gas, and that's good enough for me. And I'm I'm like living like that. So I'm not like I was really upset, but. I haven't had to get a day job yet, but it's definitely something that is always in my mind. And like, that's another reason why I want to like do an album because I'll just show you guys my Kickstarter video. <laughs> but then it's like, I don't even want to like call it an album. It sounds like so, like so serious, you know, that scares me. I'm jaded. EBT is key. Yeah, I could definitely apply for I don't even have a bank account. This is fucking insane. Where's Kay Kong been? Where has she gone? I am here now. I mean, it's literally been... I mean, I got dropped in 2013 or 2012. The, the industry is actually very is scary. It's very demanding. They definitely take a lot from you. People are always taking a lot from you. Yeah. I don't know, everything just kind of went downhill very quickly. I was losing my friends. I was losing my mind. I was losing my body. I was just losing it all. Maybe two weeks after I had announced to the world that I was pregnant, the label decided to drop me. That was kind of like a crazy blow for me That's because nice. You know, I'm, I'm having a baby and I'm kind of counting on this money that's going to come in from, you know, being on the label. One of the main important things is that I do a lot of things. I DJ, I do radio show, I direct music videos. I'm always doing a lot of things, but I feel like music really... That's me. So what do you guys think? That's, that's like half the video. Very elegant, right? Krill TV. Good, good try. I even have a special section right here for for like Krayshawn haters. Be like, it says, uh, if you're a Krayshawn hater, I still welcome you to donate out of spite and prove you are better than me. You can read my bio to get a little, to know a little bit more about me, which can help you figure out why I am the way I am. And I know my career has been speckled with beefs, misunderstandings, failures, and plain drama. But I can assure you, the mature and globally traveled Krayshawn is a smart and kind woman. And that is from my heart. <laughs> uh, now, people on here are lying. There's no way somebody's going to really spend 3000 But if you spend 2000 you can tell me slash create any tattoo you want, and I will get it for $2,000. There's one. There's one of those. I'm just like, that'd be so funny. How old am I? How old do I look? No, don't tell me. People be giving me the worst answers when I ask that shit. Yeah. Like, you guys should be, be say, like, seven, four. You look like you're seven years old. Like, that's the compliment that I'm looking for. That's weird. It stays on when you do that. Huh? You want to see my new tattoo? It's my new tattoo right here. It's a little scraper. You feel me with the barbed wire? You feel me? The young detail. Oh my god, he, the guy who did it did it with this tiny single needle. I hurt so bad. I see it hurt. I have to make a set because I'm DJing uh, next weekend.
So I got this Crayshon diss song I'm working on. And it's so fire. Like, it's literally a Crayshon diss song. And then I have this other song. And then we're making the beat right now. And it's so tight. And uh, it's like, I'm the type of, I'm, I'm the type of bitch. And then it's going to be like, I'm the type of bitch. You know, whoop de woo you feel me? You are the type of bitch, you feel me? That whoop de woo you feel me? Yeah, so like, trying to build this set.
again. You don't like it, say hello to my little friend. As a tat tat, it really don't matter. I push a hard line, cross it, niggas gon' scatter. I'm not the mad rapper, I'm the rapper gone bad. Recording on Pro Tools, act the bad. I get a gang of bad. Warm aside, come through the side, show yoke in the cab. I'm a boss, I'm a boss. I met this girl the other day and she like wanted to take a picture with me and shit and she was like oh I've been a fan since Gucci Gucci and I was like how old are you? She looked mad young she was like I'm 13. I'm like so you were listening to me when you were 8? Did you just say what is this song? Oh my god I'm so old. <laughs> I, went, I was listening to artists when I was 8. Why couldn't it be pretty shot? You know, especially with the internet nowadays. Geeked up. It's my favorite song. My favorite new song. This reminds me of all those times rolling off all the ecstasy pills. to get my GoPro, because like my homie, she was like, you need to do story times, like that's what people be doing, and I have the best stories, like this could be my true calling, is just telling my life story on vlogs, like, that can be my real, I mean, I have this one story about some red chucks, I mean, it would change your life, it would definitely change your life. Like some of you may even know the red chuck story. Yo, GoPro's sending me a camera and they I don't know where it is. Tell the story. We need 
need more bodies to tell mom, hurry up. Tell them wrong brows here, how does it America? Give me 16 Wait, let me answer Aaron. Do you think this will wake my son up? <laughs> you think he can hear these air horns? Baby sleeping, just hitting air horns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck it. It's like, no, nah, he sleeps. He's he's a uh, he's like me. I can sleep. Yo, there was like thunder and, and like never thunders, and I swear to God. The thunder was so fucking loud. At one point, I no joke, I thought it was a bomb. I was like, that doesn't, that sounded crazy. And I like jump in his little crib and I'm like holding him and he's just sleeping. No, he's, my son, I'm lucky. He's like so easy to deal with. Like, he's like, like my bro. Like, it's time consuming, but I mean, he's not like an asshole about it, you know? Not, not all the time. Okay, tell the story. What's up with the red chucks? All right. This story is called, What's Up With Them Red Chucks? Alright, so, this all takes pl place in East Oakland, in Funk Town. It's like the, the hood in East Oakland closest to the water. It's like the first East Oakland hood. So in Funk Town. And I made friends with this girl at my school, and she had moved there from Modesto. And Modesto is like a small ass town in California, like out somewhere, you know. And um, we're in Funk Town, and there's hello Crips in Funk Town. There's, there's, I've never really met Crips anywhere else, or Bloods anywhere else in, uh, in California. I mean, like in the north, north, northern California. There's not a lot of Bloods and Crips in northern California, so. My homegirl, she's wearing red chucks, and like, I don't know, in Modesto, it's like different. You wear your red chucks, and this is not just wearing red chucks. Like, I'm talking about stuffing them with the fat laces, like gangbanger style, you know? So she's wearing her shit like that, and we're in like seventh grade, and I'm like, dude, Delilah, like, don't, don't wear those red chucks. And she's like, oh, like, I want to wear them, and I was like... I mean, whatever, you know, but she, she decided to wear them, so we're going to the corner store, and then this is like, you know, when all you had was like a dollar, you go to the corner store and you like get a soda and stuff, so me and her, we got like two bucks, we're going to the corner store and like these older girls run up on us, they're like high school girls, you know, we're in middle school, and like, I think one of our friends like knew her sister or something, and we were all like, like oh hey and they're like hey what's up we're like nothing just gonna go to the store and like oh really we want to go to the store too you got some money for us we're like what like no and they're like oh yeah we want to come too like woo woo and we're like man nah and then one of the girls starts looking at her she's just like she got she got some red chucks on and then they're like they start looking at us crazy and then they're like what's up with them red chucks What's up with them red chucks? What's up with them red chucks? They just keep saying that shit, and I'm like, oh my fucking god. I'm like, bitch, I told you not to wear the red chucks, you know? And, of course, they start proceeding to, to try and rob us. Or all we had was a dollar, so they, like, took, like, our two dollars. They're like, yeah, this is all we have here. <laughs> like, and then they're like all in our face and they're like I know you girls behind money in your bras and they're like take your shoes off like we want to see if there's money in your shoes should they start like lifting up our bras and like and I'm just like oh my god like I'm in the seventh grade like why would I have money in my bra like what the fuck I'm not I'm for, like don't even have a bra yeah they're mean mean girls but yeah it's just crazy like funk town of course it was like a Bosnian girl and like two Cambodian girls like that's how Oakland is it's just especially Funk Town there's hella Bosnians in Funk Town hella Cambodians and for some reason there are Crips too um but yeah <laughs> that was that was the story sup with the red chucks so then that just became like a thing we would say all the time because it was just like so ridiculous the way they said it just like that it just like always stuck in our head what's up with them red chucks though what's up with them I should, I should text her right now
Yeah, every time you see red checks, you gotta you gotta do that. That could be the new like, w what are those? And be like, what's up with them red checks? No, I didn't talk to that girl Delilah. I mean, I can I got stories for days, but <laughs> but if I did story time, it would be so fucked up. Like it wouldn't. I don't know what they usually are. Like, oh, I went to Target and like my mom lost me. Mine would be like, oh, I was like rolling so hard and like I cut school and like. All me and my friends like all showered together, like, <laughs> and we we're 15, and I passed out on the bus and broke my face. Like, <laughs> these are all real stories. <laughs> this is a uh, this is this is what you have in tune for for uh, my vlogs. Once my damn GoPro gets here, all y'all need to go at GoPro right now. Do y'all send Grisha on her camera yet? GoPro needs to hurry the fuck up. You know, the other day, my neighbor got a package, and I was so excited because I thought it was a GoPro package for some reason, but my name, nor GoPro, was even on the package. And I open it, and then I, it's like, uh, like, what's that, like, supplement shit, muscle shit? And I was like, what the fuck? Who would send me this? And then I looked at the package, and I was like, wait, my name isn't even on this. Like, I just opened my neighbor's package because I'm a dumb stone bitch. And I had to, like, tape it up, act like I didn't do it, put it on his doorstep. <laughs> I'm like, who would send me muscle mass? I'm so confused. Oh, wait, my name's not even on this. Wouldn't it suck more, though, if you opened it and it was, like, a new iPad, and you're like, whoa, I got a new iPad. And then you're like, oh, my God, who sent me this iPad? And then you'd be like, hmm. You hide it. You hide it. No, I'm just kidding. When, the other day I asked my son. I'm trying to get him to, like, answer more, like, social questions. You know, so, like, you know, how are you? What's your name? How old are you? I asked him, how old are you, Des? He goes, pretty old. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you hit me with the wisdom already? He's like, I'm pretty old, all right? Um, let's all go to sleep. Yeah, let's have like a huge sleepover. This is what I wanted to do when I released my Kickstarter. Do like a huge sleepover. And then like have people donate all night while we sleep. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? I have a little DJ set up. Literally just like this, but like like a good quality camera and you know, like a little, sh you know, green screen and like people that like hook up different camera angles. And I don't know, I've been trying to find people who can do that, but I haven't found anyone who can help me yet. Everyone's like, pay me. And I'm like, I'm doing it for a Kickstarter. Like, you know, like, why don't you donate by, like, not being an asshole and just helping me? <laughs> Tragic, she couldn't do a streaming setup. She filmed all the footage and took all the pictures for the Kickstarter. But running a, like, multi camera web stream is, like, it's, like, very different. It's not even the same. You wouldn't even go to the same school for some shit like that. Make a Jersey Club EP? I should. I have so many friends and homies who do that shit. Like, I could literally just, like, record acapellas right now and start sending them out, which i actually been wanting to do. <gasps> but I'm a dumb bitch. Yo, I, I always get these, you know, like the suggested ads on Facebook. I always get one for surrogate mother. And so I was like, be a surrogate mother, blah, blah, blah. So I clicked it and they're like, take our little test to see if you could be a surrogate mom. And I literally was like, I'm going to answer them like fucked up. Like, do you smoke? I'm like, yeah, sometimes. And then they're like asking all these questions. Like, How do you eat? How much fast food do you eat? And I'm like, three times a week. You know, I'm doing like the shittiest, not the shittiest ones, but the next to shittiest ones. And they're like, congratulations, you could be a surrogate mom. I'm like, they're going to let a smoking, fast food eating, sex having, freak have a baby on Facebook. What type of baby rage shit is this? They're like taking babies and then they're gonna sell them or something. They're like, yeah, surrogate. Yeah, right. 
you're gonna tell you it's a surrogate, and then and then you're not gonna know it's gonna be actually your egg and some fucking scuzz balls sperm. You're gonna have all these fucking babies for some weirdo. He's gonna sell them. Now I'm single. There's no ring on this finger, baby, or this finger. But me and my baby daddy were best friends and we're tight and he's super cool and he makes fire beats. We broke up because some people, some relationships you're in, um, like aren't meant to be forever, you know? So like, even if you have a baby, we had a baby like the first like two months of us like being in a relationship. So I feel like that's a lot, a lot of how things work out most of the time. You're like, oh yeah, like it was literally no homo. I was like, I was like, oh, I could be pregnant. Like I could totally be pregnant. I didn't think about having a baby for the rest of my life. I just was like, yeah. I feel like I always secretly wanted to be pregnant since I was like a teenager. And then, and then like, he would be like, I can't believe we're gonna have a baby and he's gonna be walking around. I'd be like, don't say that, don't say that. It like freaked me out. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we, we had the baby and it was tight. Having a baby is cool. If you have a good baby. Some people don't have good babies. So sometimes it's not good. That's the scary thing. And think about that. If I was like, damn, what if my baby's not good? Probably wouldn't have had a baby. Name my son Desmond, cause I like, <laughs> I like the name uh, Des. I like names that have cool nicknames. Cause like, I never had a cool nickname. Like, my name's Natasha. I hate it when people call me Tosh. Like, I hate when people call me Tosh. So that was never an acceptable nickname for me. And Tasha, I don't really like that either. So it was always Natasha. And then, and then I'd always just have other nicknames that weren't related to my actual name. Definitely about to get on Smash right now, though, because my phone's about to die. Cam up, bitch. Did you add me? Okay. Let's see. Go to my friends list. It's so confusing with friends list and me verse. Yo, who is on the me Tomo though? Who is on the me Tomo game? I literally got so many requests. I can't even add anyone now. I can't even, I can't even add people. I feel like I did it wrong. I shouldn't have just added everyone. Cause like now I'm like, who the fuck is this saying something about me? I don't even know you. <laughs> it's like probably way funnier when it's like people you actually are friends with. No homo. Like I'm not like shading y'all, you know? All right. I've added people. I don't think you're online. Got Nick Heck, Nikki Laser, Victoria Justice, Banana Hammock, and Bella Stardust. Oh damn. Literally the last game I was playing was Scrabble Knots. That game's so weak. It was fun, but it's weak. BRB going to Jack off. People don't say BRB anymore. It's like crazy. Like you're only saying that because you're in a chat, but most of the time, like you wouldn't say BRB. It's a dying, it's a dying uh, word. You know, like there's never an in, like you wouldn't be on Twitter like BRB. You know, you just wouldn't tweet. You're not gonna be like texting someone and be like, oh BRB. That's why I hate texting. It's so annoying. Just loaded up the smash. Well, that's good.
Look at that barbed wire detail though. My hair is not soft, it's like oily right now. I wish I knew how to do my makeup like all the girls who do their makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to do that. Like, can you imagine how fucking different I would look if I, like, beat my face, like, every day and just was like, fuck, I'm fucking bad bitch, you feel me? Instead, I look like this. Yeah, like, I need to get the Instagram home makeup tutorial. Like, I need the kit. Who was I? I started playing with Kirby. He was cool. Let's get on it. Stock life. Am I using a fish eye? Yeah. Alright, join my room. No, me and Be Nasty didn't date. When I knew, when. It was so funny. When she saw me kiss a girl, like, because I was, like, dating this girl. Oh, James approaches. And we were, like, and we had to be, like, 16. And I was, like, dating this girl, and she saw us make out. And she was freaking out, dude. She, like, was, like, oh, my God. What the fuck? That's so nasty. You're gay. Oh, my God. Like, she was, like, freaking out. Like, really bad freaking out. And I was like, chill, like, don't bitches kiss all the time. And she was flipping out. And then when she went to jail, I remember we visited her. And she's like, hey, I think I'm gay, y'all. <laughs> but the way she says it is so funny because it's just like how she is. She's like, I think I'm gay, y'all. <laughs> just just playing. But I think I, I be getting hella bitches. I'm like, oh, my God. Fuck you. I still punched you in slow motion, you dick. Ugh. I can't do this at the same time. My phone's about to die. So I'm sorry I ended the battle. Let's get more people in. If you're on... I'm on Wii U. If you're on Smash. And you're my friend, come through. I used to fight a lot, a lot of fights in my life. Oh my god, I got some of the funniest fights. Like I have a broken nose from fighting. You see, you can't see very well right here. This bone, and then it goes in right here. It's crooked. And at the drop of a dime. Why is it not turning around? God damn it, Dottie. Cats, help me. Oh my god, I can't turn my... Is it zoomed in? What is going on? Yeah, my phone's gonna start. It's gonna turn off. Why would you share it? It's about to turn off. I'm so embarrassed. I got unlimited data, alright? I'm unlimited up in this bitch. Free data for life. I don't even know what data is. When people be like, oh, I can't, can't do it right now. I don't have data. I'm like, what? Did you run out of text messages too? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I can't text right now. It's not 7 p.m. All of our guys be like, I don't got no minutes. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Remember the five thing? I think T-Mobile had it. You could pick five people that you can text and call for free. I was like, shit. I don't even talk to more than four people. I was like, I don't even know who to put in this shit. My mom. My friend. What? That's it.